Well guys, today I've got my Nexus uh, 7, my new Nexus 7 I should say, here and I'm going to show you guys another recovery system. Normally I use uh, Torque Recovery or Team Wind Recovery Project, but this is going to be how to install Shabby Penguin Recovery or which is based on Clockwork Mod Recovery. The developer for it is Shabby Penguin, or at least that's his XDA tag, I think, and most of his sites, forms he's on, that's his tag. But uh, a guy named Matt Groff has taken and ported it over to the uh, new Nexus 7 so that it'll work on this device. Um, so let me just go ahead and show you this. Uh, requirement for this is going to be um, to have an unlocked bootloader. And you can know if you have an unlocked bootloader just by powering the device off, powering it back up, and you're going to see your Google logo, and then you're going to see a little unlocked over here. If you don't have an unlocked bootloader, go ahead and watch my unlocked bootloader video on the new Nexus 7 2013 edition, and you will get that and get that set up. So we're going to go ahead and boot into boot mode. So you're going to hold volume down and power. Should just take a second. And we're in boot mode. You scroll with your volume up and down over here, just like that. And we're going to go ahead and plug this into our computer. And I, like I said, I'm assuming that you already have the uh, drivers and everything installed correctly on your computer because you unlocked the bootloader. So I'm assuming that's all done. So right here, uh, we're plugged in. We're in this mode. Let's go ahead and shoot over to the computer and show you the commands, and we'll install this uh, recovery here. So here we are on the computer. Um, if you've done the unlock bootloader process, you should already have these files. I'll link them again in the video description. Basically, you're going to be looking for this right here and this right here. And then I just like to extract this file right here. And then I'll copy our recovery image, the OUDHS recovery, into the file we extracted. And so it's listed right there. So this is going to be pretty simple. Um, all we have to do is hold shift on our keyboard inside this window because all of our utilities like fast boot and ADB are all in here and we're just gonna hold shift down right click and say open command window here and you're gonna get this command window right there and then it's pretty simple from here we're just gonna type in fast boot devices and all you wanna know is you wanna see a number come up here it doesn't matter what the number is and then you want to see fast boot and this proves that your computer is seeing your device correctly and everything's functioning driver wise and you're in the right mode you're in fast boot mode all that kind of stuff's going on so now we got to type in now is fast boot flash recovery and then what I like to do because this is the easiest is to go here hit rename then copy the name and then don't actually rename it. Go back into your utility, space, paste, so the name of the recovery, and then you have to type the end dot img because it is an image file, and then hit enter. And you can see that we sent recovery, write recovery, everything says it's okay, and we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and go back to the tablet and show you this recovery system. At this point, you guys can go ahead and uh, stop using the computer program, close it, and you're done with the uh, computer. Okay, so the flash procedure has finished here. Everything's good to go on that. Um, all we got to do here is use our scrolling volume up and down. Scroll to where it says uh, recovery right there. And then go ahead and hit power. And this should go ahead and get us into the custom recovery system. You can see the unlock bootloader down there. See a little unlock uh, logo. And we should boot up here. And this is Shabby Penguin Recovery. You can see the little penguin in the center. Or... O-U-D-H-S recovery, whatever you want to call it. It's based on Clockwork Mod Recovery, so any backups for, from Clockwork Mod Recovery would work in this utility also, or in this recovery system also. The coolest thing about this recovery is it's all gesture based, so you scroll by doing this, and up and down, and then if you want to go to like advanced, you swipe over, and that goes to advanced, um, a bat, and swiping the other direction should be uh, back, and so gestures are up and down, left, right. So swipe that way, you get a, like an enter. Swipe the other direction and it's like a back button. So very, very cool. And then the last thing that's really fun about this recovery is this little Easter egg that if you keep scrolling, it changes to rainbow. 
So that's pretty sweet. Uh, definitely dig it. Um, very nice recovery. Like I said, great work from uh, Shabby Penguin, the guy who did this, and then Matt Groff reporting it over to the new Nexus 7 2013 edition. That's it, guys. You can go ahead and make backups, do wipes, all your stuff, custom uh, flash custom ROMs, and all that kind of goodies. I'm going to go ahead and reboot system. And don't do that. And we should be good to go. So there you go. That is it. That is how to um, install Shabby Penguin Recovery on the new Nexus 7 based on Clockwork Mod Recovery. Hope you guys like this little video. Very, very, very quick. And as always, please check me out right up here at RootJunkie.com, Facebook and Twitter over there. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.